Welcome to Aerodynamics in Minutes. Today we are going to understand what is moment, what is center of pressure and what is an aerodynamic center. In the two diagrams, the pivot base is spin joint. As you can see, placing 50 kg perfectly center in the pivot base, the seesaw is balanced. But moving it from the middle makes the seesaw unbalanced. This unbalance is created due to the moment generated by the weight we have placed. The magnitude of the moment increases as the distance increases. We can find the moment generated using the formula force into distance. I think you don't need any explanations for this formula as you can easily understand. There may be n number of forces with different magnitudes acting on a body. All these forces acting on the body can be replaced by a single resultant force and the magnitude and the position of this force are found using the body at equilibrium condition that is sum of all forces and the sum of all moments is zero these arrows are the lift distribution over the top surface of the airfoil to locate the center of pressure Think all the varying pressure at each chunk of area as a force. The magnitude of these forces can be found using pressure into the corresponding chunk of area. And we know how to find the magnitude and the position of the resultant force. And the position of the resultant force we found is called the center of pressure. We can replace all the forces acting on each chunk of area with a single resultant force at the center of pressure. As you see in the second pressure distribution diagram, the center of pressure moves rearwards as the angle of attack increases. This might not move to rear in all cases. The movement of center of pressure with angle of attack is non-linear and the movement varies depending on the airfoil design. Okay? Therefore, you cannot use center of pressure for most of the calculations. You need an another stable point for calculations. Okay? Before going to find that point at at uh, before going to find that point as a prerequisite, let us revise how to find the moment at one point. Moment at one point is the sum of all forces in the corresponding distance. Finding the moment on each and every point on the chord, it is found that at one point the moment generator remains constant no matter what the angle of attack is within the star angle. And this point exists in airfoil by nature. This is the point called the aerodynamic center very important to notice that it is valid only for the low speed yes at low speed and also notice that the velocity is constant theoretically the aerodynamic center is located on the quarter cord on symmetrical airfoil theoretically the moment generated at the aerodynamic center is always zero a symmetric letter file. Again notice that it is valid only for low speed. For an unsymmetric letter file, the aerodynamic center is also located at the quarter cord and the moment is constant not zero. For supersonic flows, the aerodynamic center is located at half of the cord. Probably you will not be using this value if you are designing a supersonic aircraft, you are going to find the aerodynamic center using CFD or experimental, but uh, I have mentioned you can use it if you want. The aerodynamic center we have learned is valid only for low speed below Mach 0.4, even pro propeller driven travel at an average speed of Mach 0.6. I am emphasizing it again, these aerodynamic center varies with velocity what yes it varies with velocity depending on the airfoil design also the aerodynamic center will vary therefore my suggestion is to run a cfd to find the aerodynamic center it is not an easy task but it is the right way to find the aerodynamic center 
Thank you for watching. This is Dianesh, shining off in aerodynamics in minutes. See you in the next video. Stay tuned.